Hello guys, uh, welcome to part one of Penumbra Overture and uh, I'm sitting in my room at the moment, it's very dark and uh, I'm trying to immerse myself into my Let's Plays lately so uh, yeah, it's very dark in my room and uh, this is a brand new Let's Play, this is part one and uh, this has been made by the same people who made Amnesia The Dark Descent I haven't played it before, uh, what do we have here? We have Easy, Normal and Hard but yeah, I haven't played it before and uh, let's get started um, I'm going to be doing a full Let's Play on this game, so uh, stay tuned for Amnesia as well as this game, Penumbra Overture. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it, so when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. But he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that, despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. Alright, well that was a pretty big, pretty long uh, cutscene I guess you could say. So uh, we're on a boat. Alright, what do we have here? Finally, we're almost docked, I'd better stow my gear, I may be far from home, but chances are I can still pick things up using left mouse. And I can take a closer look at things using right mouse. Okay, uh, here we are. Penumbra. So, uh, yes, we're in a room. That lamp is very low. I can just walk into that. Okay, uh, so uh, this game, as I said, has been made by the same people who made Amnesia. I think this game came first. I think it was made in 2007. But uh, let's focus on game here and uh, play. Play the game. So we can pick stuff up. Ooh! I want to put that up there. Yes. Alright, let's have a look around. Uh, can we open drawers like we could in Amnesia? Ah, yes we can. What do we have there? The flashlight switches on and off via the inventory, or hopefully with the shortcut key. Okay. Shortcut key F. Ooh, that's cool. So we've got a flashlight. Uh, what do we have over here? Um, is that a vomit box? That's horrible. Get on top of the bed. And stay up there. Alright, can we open this up? I think this looks the same from Amnesia, this chest. We've got a window, can we see anything out there? Not really. Uh, what do we have here? We have something in here. Okay, we've got a note. Um, guys, uh, if you want to read this, feel free to pause the video, but I'll be reading every note that I find in this game, or every note that I find in Amnesia, I'll be pausing the game, uh, I mean, looking at the video after the video, bleh, looking at the video after it's been finished recorded, and I'll read the notes myself, but, uh, reading them in game is just too much, and it will take a lot of time, so, if you want to have a look at the note and see what it says, feel free to pause it and, uh, have a look, but, we got a bottle here, uh, ooh! Is that Jack Daniels? I think it says Jack Daniel. Wait, let's have a closer look at that. Jake Daniels. J 
Jake Annuals. What the fuck is that? Okay, um, ooh, what's this? Always good to have a notebook to jot down interesting information and reminders. Very good. Now, where's that emergency glow stick? Should still be in the locker. Keys in my inventory. Okay, inventory. Oh, health. I'm as fit as can be expected. Uh, battery, I think that's for our flashlight. And we got a key. So where's the locker? Ah, there it is. Um, can we can pick this up? We have a map here. Hold on a sec. I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland, so I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. And uh, for you, for most of you guys uh, that don't know, uh, Greenland is on top of the world, I believe. It's a very icy continent. Um, what is? How do we open this? Oh, that's right. We've got a key. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, that's pretty awesome. Let's try to open that up. Uh, grab that, whatever it is. It could come in handy if the torch runs out of batteries. I should be able to access it through my inventory. That should be everything I need. I want to get going before dark. Okay, uh, I think I'm, I'm not going to be reading everything in this game, but, you know, let's have a look in my inventory. So we got this thing. Glow stick. Ooh. That's kind of cool. And we can use that by pressing G. And we can use the flashlight by bleh, flashlight by pressing F. Okay, let's get out of here. Click to continue. All right, so uh, it should be icy. Yes. So cold. Don't know where I am. Need shelter soon. Um, Greenland. Very icy. Very cold. Okay. So uh, I can't see shit. So if you're watching this video and you just all you see is this whiteness and mountains, that that's all I can see too. So uh what do we got down here? What in the hell is that? I don't care, I need shelter, looks frozen shut, need something to break in. I uh, I can't even read it. That stuff comes up and disappears too fast. So uh god damn it. I don't think I can open this up of that ice. Can we smash that with something with our flashlight? Probably won't work, but whatever. Ooh. Okay, uh, let's have a look around. I think I saw something up here before. Okay, what do we have? If I click and hold the interact button, I should just about manage to pick up that rock. The cold's made me weak. But, uh, I can still do it. Okay, uh... So the same sort of thing as amnesia. Very similar. So I guess we're meant to bring that rock and, uh, smash the ice. Whatever. And, uh, this is a blind let's play, so I don't really know what this game's all about. So, can we smash that, please? Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, I hope to God it's not frozen inside as well. Okay, what is this interact mode? Hold on a sec. Interact mode. Ooh. That's cool. That's very cool. So we can sort of... Wow. We can sort of throw stuff like that. Can we pick that up from here? And throw stuff. That's pretty damn awesome. Okay. So let's... Can we open this? Yes. But, uh, all I know, guys, is this is, this is a horror game. It's the same as Amnesia. It's some sort of scary game. And, uh, I'm probably going to lose my cool in the next few episodes. I hope it's not dark down here. For once, I just want to go into a, an, a hatch or a little basement where it's nice and light. Okay, what do we have going on here? All right. Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell down and survived. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. <sighs> it's dark down here. It's dark down here. Not good. 
And uh, I'm surprised this game was actually pretty cheap. I bought it for 10 bucks off Steam. Uh, flare. Cool beans. Um, we have a door over here. And a door here. We. What is this? It's stuck. There must be something in the way. Wouldn't you think if you're pushing a door, the thing in the way would get pushed as well? God. We got barrels. Can we actually break these? I don't think so. Ah, oh, what's this? Another flare. Okay. Let's open this up and have a look in here. Ooh. Okay. Oh, another flare. And uh, we got something here. What is this? Hammer. Um, let's see. I can swing this hammers, this hammer, if I hold left mouse. And I can make a back swing by pulling the mouse right and then follow through by pushing left. The opposite works too. Pulling back and then thrusting forward to produce a stabbing motion. Okay, I reckon if I hold down right mu yeah, hold down right mouse after the back swing, I should be able to look around. Okay, um I might use my glow stick, because I don't want to waste my my battery. Close this. I sort of like this glow stick, it's kinda cool. Okay, so where's this hammer? We've got the hammer here. Uh, this hammer seen action in its time. That sounds kind of sus. So how do we use this again? We gotta we can pull it back. Oh we can pull it like that. Oh that's pretty cool. And how do we do the stabbing motion thing? We pull it back. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. And it's pretty accurate, I can sort of yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Crap. Now, and we if we hold uh, how do? God damn it! One second. Put the hammer away. Open this up. We open this up now. No, we can't. It's still blocked. What? What is behind there? I can see something. I think that's a barrel. Maybe. Okay, let's get the hammer out and see if we can just fucking smash this thing down. Cause you know we're so beast like that. Open up, door. I'm warning you. Come on. Come on, door. I don't think so. It's not really working out. Alright, let's walk back here and just... So that's the way we came in. And uh, we have another door over here. Barrels. Ah, what's this? Yes. Okay, uh, I'll keep the glow stick out. Get rid of the hammer. Can we pull this away? Yep, let's pull that back. Okay, let's get the hammer out. And uh, stab this shit. Bam! Come on. There we go. I like this. This is pretty cool. Um, For an old game, this seems pretty good. But... What the fuck? What do we have going on here? Shit, we got like tunnels. Uh, use my flashlight to have a look at around in there. Okay. So creepy ass tunnels. Multiple tunnels. Oh wait a minute. I think those are connected. I think they're connected. Are they connected? Yes, they are. They're connected. Okay. Let's head out here. Alright, uh, oh, it was a barrel. At least, is this the same door? Yes, okay, I'll put the hammer away. Move the barrel, please. Bastard. And open this up. Okay. Well, guys, I think that's going to be it for part one of Penumbra, Penumbra Overture. And, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.